Greetings Shenanigamers and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 and we are looking at yes indeed Neptune and Neptune's moons which are a lovely collection of moons Galatea Larissa and uh, many others and I was going to do some shenanigans here and uh, we're going to we're going to try and launch something maybe a large moon maybe I was kind of thinking series maybe at Neptune at relatively high velocity to see if we can cause the debris to impact the moons and, and stuff like that or even impact the moons on the way so uh, let's let's have a look and see if we can do that um, but where am I going moons and uh where is Ceres again? Oh sure it's not in it's not in moons, isn't it? It's in minor. Yep, there we go. Couldn't see it there for a second. So uh let's let's knock it up to maybe fifty kilometers a second. So five times the normal speed of impact there. And uh it's sizable. But we'll see if uh, its impact will cause debris to pop out and, and into the orbital lines of the existing moons. Oh, way too fast. Do, 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 do. Let's hold on to you here for a second. And see. There are any moons? There's a couple coming our way. I didn't think I'd be that lucky. Maybe we could have timed it. Whoosh. That was close. We've got three moons here. Now, there mightn't be any ejecta at all. Ah, there is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Because that was a pretty big... Pretty big bang. Pretty high speed bang. Impact, even. So here we have our cloud of debris. A lot of it, actually, isn't there? That was actually a pretty big uh, impact. Studio. Now look at all these little lovely. Oh, wrong one. Nothing's impacting here. <laughs> Maybe we should try it again. Maybe with something larger. Maybe with another planet. Yeah, let's try. Let's let's do a redo. We're back in here again. So let's um, just trying to see what would be the best trajectory. There's a lot of moons coming here. So what do you think? What will we do? Let's do planets. And uh, I suppose we could, for the for the fun of it, we could do mass zero. Um, something equivalent, Kepler. Let's go Kepler ten b. And let's launch it at about that speed. And maybe could maybe do it a bit of bleak. You're pretty hot, aren't you? Um, three point three. So this will be interesting. Kepler ten b. Bit random. So let's slow it down. Probably gonna take out the moons. 
Which, listen, I'm not going to be complaining about. Proteus. Num, just like Pac-Man. Are you going to get... Oh, you're lucky. But it did affect the uh, orbit. Ooh. Big bang. Look at that. Just hammered the orbit of Neptune there. It's like I am out of here. 27.7 kilometers a second now. It's leaving its moons behind. Now it kind of, it almost, like it doesn't look like it's done any damage to it. Oh, I, I stand mistaken. It's, um, I thought like, it's, it's almost like it did like an airburst above it and just sent it flying. But uh, there's the big impact zone. Ah, okay, so let's have a look here. Neptune. Losing a lot of its atmosphere. It lost all of its moons. Well, it didn't really lose its moons. The moons lost Neptune. That was substantial. So let's see what happens. That was surprising. I suppose, I suppose with that kind of mass, what was it, three, between three and four Earths? Mass going at 50 kilometers a second. All the moons are gone, 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 gone. And we're still quite hot for Neptune. You can still see the, the mark, even at this huge revolution. Let's keep going now and get that temperature down. Let's have a look here. Wow. That is cool. Um, let me just see here, basically, let's see, 4.38 masses, and, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting, I was, I thought, when I was trying to get some debris to come across and annihilate these guys, but I'm happy enough with that, I'd go with that, I thought that was a bit interesting, um, I'm going to try and maybe do some more videos along this line as well. Just something a little bit different with the means to it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, I've been your local Shenanigan Gamer. And uh, don't forget, you can like, share, subscribe to support the channel. And check out the description box below on other ways you can do that, too. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.